version uh before uh, the highlights of chapter number 17 chapter number 17 the title young rupert's midnight diversion there is no specific event taking place except some of the planning or the line of action uh, redout zendel has thought it is to be uh, implemented so let's see what happens first of all redout zendel uh, he th- he thinks that weather should be uh, not good so that his plan may go very smoothly so there was a jacobs ladder uh, he thinks about that johan himself uh, helped in fixing it and it was so uh, you know well fixed that it is immovable it cannot be moved so it is important that with an with the help of explosive it should be uh, uh you know destroyed or it could be displaced but uh, it is not easy to destroy it at 12 o'clock colonel sapt is sent along with his men from the chateau of tallement to the castle of zenda and uh, reaching at uh, castle of zenda so they leave the horses half a mile away from the zenda and uh, they go on foot uh, radar zendel himself leaves for the castle but there are some certain things that he has with him a revolver a sword a large clock a woolen jersey a pair of kicker bockers a uh, thick uh, stocking uh, light canvas shoes oil some oil and a large flask of whiskey so these are some of the most important thing that he keeps with him then in the same way he, when he reaches at the forest so about half past 12 so he tied his horse in a thick clump of trees so keeping the revolver uh, uh, with him so he goes then by the time the castle uh, clock uh, when uh, it is quarter to 1 in 15 minutes left to 1 so he feel that he has uh, been under the water so now he swim across and uh, pushing because he has a ladder along with him and uh, he is also hugging the uh, castle wall i mean touching with one hand the castle wall and by this way he reaches at the jacobs ladder side uh, the old uh, chateau where the king is kept rodolfo zender notices that the drawbridge is on and uh, uh, then uh, then uh, at the same time redout zendel thinks that if johan was true uh, about uh, the duke's apartments i mean when he said in chapter number 14 that uh, left side was duke apartment in the uh, in the center there was a hall and uh, then at the right side there was a room of uh, uh, lady de mobain so he thinks about that but in the same time the idea come in, uh, in his mind and he is uh, worried about if uh, what happens if uh, lady de mobain if she forgets and he believes that the women are uh, mostly they are very careless and they are very forgetful so uh, then he says that if at 2 o'clock uh, she couldn't come and uh, the door of uh, the hall was not opened by johan it may be assumed or presumed that uh, he is dead so in that case uh, it was said to captain fred that tell marshal go back to um, i mean along with the uh, princess flavia to stirless suddenly rodor zendel notices that window of duke michael uh there was a light coming from suddenly there was a light on 
he sees in the shadow of that light uh, the face of Anthony de Maubin and he wished he could uh, call her to remember uh, what she had to uh, act as in chapter number 14 uh, she had to act as if Rupert had entered into her chamber and uh, he was molesting her and uh, when she would be uh, uh, shrieking or crying for help uh, the Michael would come and by, by this way the Michael would be uh, overpowered or he would be caught by Colonel Sapt and his men. So, so he thinks about this thing. Then later on he uh, noticed that a man came up and uh, stood by Lady de Maubin and uh, he was uh, trying to put his arm around her waist. So actually it was Rupert of Hunzo. So what Rupert of Hunzo says to the lady, it looks cold, come uh, Maubin, are you serious? And again, uh, hang Black Michael, isn't the princess enough for him? Is he to have everything? What the devil do you see in Black Michael? But uh, Moben, she is not interested and uh, she said, if I told him what you say, I mean, she is going to complain. Then, uh, I mean, he says, well, well, tell him. So it means that he is so bold and so daring that he doesn't uh, take care uh, about uh, Michael. So then after some time Michael appears and he says what are you doing here sir? And uh, Rupert says apologizing for your absence sir. Could I leave the lady alone? Then uh, later on uh, it seems to be a bit argumentative uh, situation and uh, Duke Michael he says that the moat would hold more than the king. It means it is not only the king who will uh, be drowned in the moat, but there will there may be one more person. And Rupert thinks that uh, does your highness threaten me? It means is it a threat from you? So Michael says a threat is more warning than the most men get from me. I mean it is it is more than the threat that he was saying, he was, he was warning. So whatever, there was an argument, a very serious argument, but in order to avoid the argument, uh, Duke Michael tries to diffuse uh, the situation because when he finds that uh, Rupert is uh, 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 very uh, bold and uh, I mean he is not uh, taking any effect of him, so he says to Rupert, enough, enough, we must not quarrel. And he sends back Rupert uh, to the other side, uh, to the king castle. So pray, sir, leave us. In 10 minutes, the drawbridge will be drawn back. I presume you have no wish to swim to your bed. So when he says that, uh, go back and uh, I think that you are not going to sleep to I mean tonight um, and and the the bridge is going to be uh, drawn so then uh, listening this and he goes back uh, and he rejoins he got it as soon as Rupert goes to the old castle Rodolfo Zendel uh, he notices that Rupert of Hunzo, after having drunk, uh, he takes the bottle from Degotet and uh, he shoots. Uh, there are two shoot, uh, they are missed and the third shoot shattered the bottle. And uh, I think this is how he was trying to express his uh, anger. Then after 10 minutes, uh, when uh, the bridge is drawn. Once again, Rodoro Zendel, after 10 minutes, he finds that Rupert of Hunzo is again swimming in the moat, holding a sword between his teeth, and uh, he was 
uh, swimming across and uh, then after some time uh, he uh, sees that uh, he swam leisurely and quietly across and then after some time he set his foot in the gateway standing on the uh, drawn back bridge and he felt in his pocket and took out something and he vanished I mean disappeared from his sight so it means that Rupert had entered into the chamber or into the room of uh, Lady de Maubin and the room is locked then it is said that uh, Rodor Zendel uh, he was uh, swimming uh, uh, to the side of the bridge and uh, then he said that he he didn't hear anything uh, till half past one and uh, there were certain other plots which were going on uh, in the castle other side of the castle it was the new side of the castle because the new plot is that Rupert of Hunzo again he has disobeyed and he has stealthily or uh, secretly uh, moved back to the room of Lady de Maubain and uh, this is another plot uh, going on it is uh, uh, this plot was against Michael because uh, the enmity between our hostility between Michael and uh, Rupert was very clear it was very evident so ultimately something is going to uh, go wrong something is going to be very serious uh, they might have a very serious consequence any one of them so this is what is a plot so let's see what happens in chapter number 18